So we're here in what was until very recently sunny Concarneau in uh, the south of Brittany to test a boat that's been built just around the corner here, uh, designed by a local man Pierre Roland. Uh, you can see she's got quite a sporty look to her from the uh, integral bowsprit here. Uh, she's got hard chines all the way back uh, and a very, very wide stern as I'll show you in a minute. Uh, the uh, twin rudders are controlled by this single very beefy tiller uh, and all the controls come back within easy reach. Uh, there's a lot going on here, a lot of fine tuning that can be done from the backstay uh, to the uh, main sheet, uh, but it's all quite low load and it's simple to do. So although she looks like a racer, she's designed for comfortable cruising and nowhere is that more obvious than down here where you have the built-in dinghy garage, which will accommodate a very precisely sized dinghy, it must be said. The only impact that has inside is to absorb the space beneath the aft cabin, uh, but it's very well done and you wouldn't know that the garage was there. She's been designed with a large cockpit and clearly the aim is that you spend as much of your time out here as possible. So we've got a cockpit table here, we've got vast storage spaces in here, and quite a lot of foot rests uh, so that when the boat really gets up on uh, uh, the upwind leg uh, you're not falling all over the place. There's a fair amount of room below so six berths in total, a big double in the Breton uh, berth forward and a large double aft but the key feature of this boat and it does a good job of hiding itself is the lifting keel uh, which is housed here uh, along with the hydraulics inside the saloon table there's a small galley uh, and a built-in uh, heads as well with a shower. So this is really a boat that you can shoot off on a long cruise in. There are really few negatives about this boat, but one of them, unfortunately, is the design of the chart table, which is very small. In fact, it's barely big enough to get a book onto, let alone the chart itself. The only other problem I encountered was quite a lot of vibration in the rudders uh, at between eight and nine and a half knots. Small boat, only nine meters, she packs quite a punch. We found ourselves doing uh, seven, eight, uh, nine knots at times. Uh, she's great fun to sail. She's got the feel a little bit of a large dinghy, but actually uh, very stable, very secure, and she'll happily sail herself. Thank you.